everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. So my last macaron video recipe was super popular with you guys. So today I wanted to share another one of my favorites. I'm gonna be making double chocolate and mint macarons. And these are just so minty, heavenly, chocolatey, and they're the perfect snack to enjoy after dinner. Today I'm gonna to be using the Italian method to prepare these cookies. And that just means I'm gonna be making a hot sugar syrup to prepare my meringue. So let's get started and I'll show you guys how to make these minty chocolatey cookies. Today I'm gonna to get started on my dry ingredients first. So I've measured out 150 grams each of almond flour and confectioner sugar. So to measure these in cups, what I do is I use my measuring cup and then spoon the ingredients in. So today I've measured out one and a half cups of almond flour and one and a half cups of confectioner sugar. But I do highly recommend weighing these out if you do have a kitchen scale. I'm gonna add my almond flour and confectioner sugar into my food processor. I'm gonna pulse these two together for a few minutes until I have a nice and uniform mixture and I don't have any larger clumps. And just sift the dry ingredients into a large bowl. After sifting this through, I usually have about a third cup of larger crumbs. I'm just gonna return these back into my food processor, pulse them again, and then sift them through again. So into a small saucepan, I'm gonna add 120 grams or one cup of white granulated sugar. And to that, I'm gonna add 40 grams of water or three tablespoons. I'm gonna take this over to the stove top and cook it over medium heat until my thermometer reads 240 degrees Fahrenheit. While my sugar syrup is cooking on the stove top, I'm gonna to get started on my egg whites. I have 110 grams of egg whites, which is approximately three extra large eggs. I'm gonna drop them into my mixer bowl and I'm gonna whisk these on high speed until soft peaks form. I have my sugar syrup ready and my egg whites mixed. Now I'm gonna turn my mixer up onto high speed and pour in the sugar syrup, whisking egg whites at the same time. You wanna keep whisking the egg whites and the sugar syrup together until you get stiff and glossy peaks. And at this time, I'm also gonna add a few drops of green food coloring to get that minty green color. And now it's time to combine the dry ingredients and the meringue together. So I've just transferred it into a large bowl and then I'm gonna drop my almond flour and confectioner sugar right over the top. I'm gonna use my spatula to gently fold the ingredients together. Just bring everything up from the bottom and then press the ingredients up against the side of the bowl to start deflating the meringue. Now to get the cookie batter to the right stage, I'm just taking my spatula and using it to press the cookie batter up against the sides of the bowl to help deflate the meringue and get it to that lava stage. And at this point, I'm also gonna add a few drops of peppermint oil. You wanna keep mixing your cookie batter until you get it to the lava stage. And that means it'll just ribbon off your spatula and settle back down on itself within 10 seconds. Now I'm just gonna transfer this into a pastry bag. I've lined a few baking sheets with parchment paper and now I'm just gonna pipe my macaron cookies out onto my parchment paper. And you wanna pipe them all about the same size. Once you've piped out your cookies, you wanna go ahead and line your kitchen counter with a towel and then drop the pan a few times to release any air bubbles that might be trapped. My macarons have stood at room temperature for about 45 minutes and this has allowed them to form a nice thin shell on the outside and they're ready to go into the oven. I have mine preheated at 320 degrees Fahrenheit and they're gonna bake for about 13 to 15 minutes. While my cookies are cooling, I'm gonna get started on the filling. I have one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. To that, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of cream that I've heated in the microwave to it was nice and hot. I'm gonna pour that over the top. I'm also gonna add a few drops of that peppermint oil. Make our filling nice and minty. And then just stir this until all that chocolate is nicely melted. I need my chocolate ganache to thicken up just a little bit more, so I'm gonna place it into the refrigerator for about 15 minutes, and then we'll be ready to fill our cookies. You wanna turn half of your cookies upside down, and now it's time to fill them. So I'm gonna drop a little bit of the chocolate ganache right into the center. And 
And then to put the cookies together, just top it off with the second half. Give a little squeeze to spread that chocolate to the edges. Just like that. Perfect. If you want to make these cookies extra special, you can melt some dark chocolate melting wafers in a bowl and then dip the cookies into the chocolate. I'm going to grab my cookie and dip it in about halfway into the chocolate. And then tap off any excess on the side. And I'm going to set them down on a sheet of parchment paper to set. And I love these uh, melting wafers. They don't require any tempering, so you get perfect dipping chocolate every time. And then I'm going to finish them off with a simple white chocolate drizzle. And that's it guys for my double chocolate and mint macarons. So I recommend storing them in an airtight container and then in the refrigerator for a few days and allow them to mature. So what will happen is those cookies will absorb all that moisture from the chocolate and then when you take them out to eat, they're just gonna be divine. They're gonna melt in your mouth with every bite. I'm really excited to give these a try so I'm not gonna wait for a couple days and I'm gonna dig into one right away. Mmm. These macarons are so good. They're so refreshingly minty and chocolatey all at the same time. They remind me of those after dinner mints. You get that refreshing mint flavor and that sweet chocolate that just melts into your mouth and you cannot ask for a better after dinner treat. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe. If you have an idea for a macaron cookie or you want to request a specific flavor, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to make a video recipe for you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.